Hello and welcome back to SAP Plan Maintenance. Uh, in the previous session, we were looking at the calibrating plan, and uh, what we had done was we had done the inspection lot. So we 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 came into this inspection lot from the order itself. We, let's go back into the order. So this is our order, and uh, it was the inspection lot. So the next step for this one is uh, we have the inspection lot number here for the QM person to pick up the inspection lot and process the inspection lot. So let's go into QM. So the transaction that we are going to use is QA02. I will open another session here. Keep the session here. So go to the transaction QA02, press enter. System will automatically pick up the previous or the latest one document that has been created. Press enter. So what we need to see is we need to press enter to see the details. So the order number. This is inspection lot. This is the order number. Let's give an inspection for calibration. Let's put some inspection here. Inspection type is 14. Inspection in plant maintenance. So we need to verify order number. We have already checked. This is the order number that we had created earlier. If you want to go back, you can go back from here. Or we have the other session already open. This is the order number. Uh, let's go into the inspection specifications. So this is our task list. Let's go into the sampling. So the sample size is 1. Uh, there is no calculation here. So everything seems to be fine. So we can press and save so that our text that we had put here should be saved. So once now we are back into the main screen of QA02. So once you are here, what we can do is we need to click on this button called results button. So QA02, this is a transaction code and this is the results button. Press enter. Equipment. Once we press enter again, it will update and give us a new screen. Inspected. Value of 1. The results value of 11. Press enter. It has given us a green check mark. So what we need to do is we need to now, this is basically QM activity which uh, you might not need to do but uh, have a look and see how the there is a in integration between QM and plant maintenance. So what we need to do is we need to lock this one so that our values or our test is locked so that nobody else can come and change it. Select the line. Save it. Go into valuation. Select usable. Choose. Press enter again. Record inspection point identifier for inspection lot. So what we have done is we have added we have up updated our inspection lot. So the next step for us is to do our usage decision. Basically with the usage decision is like, okay, so in the inspection lot, once they tested, so some result has come. Are we going to accept the result or not? So for the acceptance of result, we are going to go into this transaction of 
usage decision. So the usage decision, the transaction is QA11. Let's go into QA11. So basically what we have done in previously and we have said, okay, this is a, the, the value which has come is 11. If I can just uh, see if I can. So if I go back into the inspection lot in the results, just press enter again and press enter again. So just to verify what we had said was that our uh, the results that we can accept are in the range of 9 to 11. 10 was our requirement, the target, but we were going to accept 9 or 11. So the value which has come up, the result which has come up is 11. So we are going to accept it. So we are accepting, we are saying that for 11 and uh, in the next window we had said usage accepted. So now this is done, so we will now proceed into our usage decision which is QM11. Oh sorry, not QM11, QA11. So the QA11, we go into QA11, the inspection lot number is already there, we press enter. So the UD code, usage decision code. Usable. So it has got a usable code, press enter again and save it. Usage decision for lot has been saved. Once the usage decision has been done by the QM, the so what the QM has basically done is like they have tested the weight scale, they have found the value to coming out 11 and then they have said okay yeah, this is following in the acceptable range and then they have done a QA11, a usage decision and they have accepted it. So now it's coming back to us, they have given a certificate, okay yeah this is usable, this is okay, the value is falling within the acceptable range. So what we need to do is we need to now do our confirmation and then from confirmation it becomes this normal process of TACO and things like that. So let's go into our order. I think our now we need to go into IW41. This is our order number. So what we're saying final confirmation, no work remaining, calibration, next calibration tested in 60 days. Press enter, save. So this was tested, the order has now been saved. The next step is same like you go and do the TACO, this and variance calculation of the settlement etc. which have to be done and then save. So that's it. So we have finished the calibrating plan. I will see you in the next session with a different topic. Thank you and bye.